with Sean Wales and his Tirana. Hi mate. What's happening? Oh, you, got big, you got a big smile on your face. Smile from here to here mate, like a dog with two tails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is God, that? this thing is gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I came into the shop because it needed a bit of work. It did, it did. So, I'll take you back to the start. My dream was already, always to have a Tirana. Like, I really love it. Yeah. Tirana. It's one of my favorite cars of all time. Some kids hang pictures of Ferraris on their bedroom wall. Me, it was an 89X Tirana. So, I picked up an SS, and I got it at the right price, but it hadn't been on the road for 15 years. Uh, ah, so everything it, was Everything bit... had a really tired um, 308 in it. Yeah. It, um, Everything was tired about the vehicle, and so my plan was, you know, that was that suited me perfect because I wanted to basically do some tasteful modifications mm. and get this thing driving, so it was just beautiful to drive on the road. And it's a cool little cruiser, and um, that's why I found you guys yeah. after looking at everything on YouTube, and then bingo, you guys, myself, just came up with a really cool idea for a build. Very correct wheels, it's got the right colour, the two tone. Yeah. If, like you were talking before, you've kept your traditional Holden motor in it, and then underneath, it's got all the good gear. Exactly. To basically keep it completely Aussie muscle car. Mm. So that meant no LSs. Even though it would have been cheaper and I would have got way more horsepower for my buck, I decided to go with. Uh, Holden 304, a stroked motor, so a 355. Again, that's what everyone was putting back in. You know, yeah. Back in the day, they were putting these motors into this vehicle, and um, we put a real hot one in here. <laughs> they're, they're one of the best sounding V8s yeah. I've ever And they're rev. Exactly, and that's what I love about Fucking it. Rev. This thing will do over 6,000 RPM. You, you, you know you're alive when that's happening. At Super Performance, you got you pretty much got the whole catalog. You got the IFS custom front end built for it. Yeah. Got the four link in the rear end. Got the good gearbox, and they also did the whole bodywork as well. Yeah. So and retrim. Yeah, exactly. So I I started off with. I basically was very interested in, in your IFS kit. So yes. I wanted this vehicle not to just sound tough, look really good, but I wanted to be able to drive it properly yeah. and it needed to be able to steer and stop quite nicely. So I wanted the IFS kit in it, I wanted the bigger brakes in it. And I was gonna just get you guys to do that. But when I found out you could do the whole kit and caboodle, I thought, you know what? Let's Send be it. experts, yeah, <laughs> do what they do best and let's get this thing into my dream car. And that's what you guys have been able to do. Caro seats in it. We've done the motor, the box, we've done the IFS, done some chassis bracing, yeah. uh, we've done the drop tank exhaust, and the result is this, and it's it's lived up to all expectations. This is my dream vehicle. Now that's pretty interesting coming from the uh, the four wheel drive guy. Yeah, being so in love with a. Yeah. The muscle car. A lot of people probably don't know that about me. I'm probably just as passionate about Aussie muscle cars as I am in four wheel drives. Obviously, you can have probably arguably more adventures in a four wheel drive, but when I'm not behind the wheel of a 4B, I like to be behind the wheel of this thing. Well, at least you can throw this around the corner and not flip. Yeah, that's well, <laughs> <laughs> Going 
kind of cool because when you look at it, it looks just like a stock standard. It does. SS, right? With a set of wheels. Yep. Yeah. And when you sort of look a little bit closely or jump in behind the wheel, you know that this thing is pretty far from stock. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, if you need any parts or any work done on your car, give us a call, check out the website. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, dude. Cheers.